won't be able to join this evening. I'm going to be spending time with Sarah before I go to Recurrent tomorrow, but I hope you guys have a good time. You guys as well. Enjoy the bush. Need you to uh, find me some clips when you have time, Mr. Uncle Melvin. How was your road trip? All right, good evening, everybody. Test one, two, one, two, test, test. Hello, happy Monday. I'm back and it's Bush League number 55. We are up here in Nome, Alaska. We're gonna be visiting some of the mini Alaskan uh, gold camps up here in the Nome area. And looking forward to, uh, to flying around I've given X.12 another try. I've done some uh, testing, and and uh, Thranda Beaver is working pretty well, so we're going to give it a try. Um, yeah, it's uh, we're here at Gnome City 94, 94 Zulu, and right over there is, is Gnome. I don't know if it's International Airport, but the uh, Papa, uh, what is it, Papa Oscar Alpha Mike. I believe is this one here. This is 94 Zulu. Um, really like this little airport. It actually has a it has a little <laughs> a little dirt strip right here. I don't know what what this was. If this was part of the runway that's no longer used, don't even really know. But this is the main one right here. So that's where we're going to be departing from. And uh, there we are in the Thranda Beaver. It's been a, a little bit, and I'm really excited. I, I just picked, to keep it simple, I just picked a, uh, just a basic livery. I'm not gonna try, oh gosh. I'm not gonna do anything crazy with the dynamic livery maker. I did change my tail number, and all that really did is just change that. But uh, anyway, um, hopefully it'll work all right. 
But before we do anything, let us uh, let me say hello to the folks that we have in the chat. And uh, thank you guys for coming by. Uh, Avgeek Central, good to see you. Good to see you. It's JPC, hi, Jet Pilot Cinnamon Mike. Good to see you as well. Hey, hello. Oh, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. And uh, Ross, Ross House, hi. How's it going, Ross? Rouse? Rouse? But, yeah, I um, am going to hang out. Uh, just for a little bit, because I am kind of doing question and answer over on the uh, Downwind Sim group flights voice channel. So I'm hosting the event. And uh, while I hop in here, um, I'm just going to, I'll probably be back and forth kind of uh, saying hello to folks. Like, for example, we're going to need to say hello to a couple of our friends. Smitty and Tim, hello, guys. Uh, enjoy the flight tonight. Let me know if you have any questions. They're muted, but they're probably already going. So, anyway, this is us. Uh, it's uh, number 55. So, we're up here in Nome, and this is uh, basically what we're doing. We've got um, we've got a little a little route, a little circle we're going to fly from Nome City. We're going to first make a little stop off at Solomon State Field here. And uh, then we're going to sneak up the, uh, partly up the Solomon River. And hit a couple of uh, little little secret bonus spots here. These, we didn't make these available to just everybody, but uh, anyway, we're gonna stop at Lee's camp and Quigley's camp and uh, Casa de pa Casa de Pataga, Casa <laughs> Casa de Paga, and Ruby Roadhouse up here. Hey, Bram and fellas. Hello, hello, Bobcat. How are you? We're gonna pop over to Solomon Lake. She's uh, Salmon Lake. I can't even spell or uh, talk tonight. Hit Feather River back here to Angstrom and finish back at Nome City Field if uh, if we have enough time. You know, uh, depends on how things go. But that's the plan. And um, yeah, if you uh, are ever interested in doing something like this, just go to downwindsim.com. You will see all of our past. Uh, all of our past events here and we've got just a ton of stuff out there for you it's all free and all you have to do is load it up cost you just a few megabytes of uh disk space there so um hey everybody does anyone else have their uh push to talk settings new recently uh it seems like every time i come into discord something's different <laughs> <laughs> yeah you got that right Rob Walker, you sharing the CTAF here for uh, Gnome City is actually 23.6. Yep, very nice, very nice. So, yeah, this is the first time. So we've done 54 of these, and we've, we've always had a pre-flight, a pre-event voice briefing. But we kind of thought, you know what, let's, like, like, let's give it a shot. Let's see how we do just uh, by reading the event information. And everybody is, I think, getting pretty familiar with with exactly what uh, Rob Locker was saying looking for that little red C there that tells you what you're going to communicate on then if you do happen to come into uh, to Nome it's the same CTAF so 23.6 everything else for us is uh, is going to be on uh, 22 Niner today in between fields you are you could be 22.8 but since they're such short legs we'll probably just stay on 22.9 um, Feather River 22.9 um, so, uh, Salmon Lake 22.9 and uh, this one doesn't have one so we just uh, use 22.9 if it's not marked you just use 22.9 but anyway so I'm going to hang just for a couple of minutes just in case anybody has questions and then and then we'll be on our way but uh, yeah we would love to have you and uh, we do definitely enjoy you know the more the merrier uh, Ross House is, is saying he only had a only was able to make one of them. It was a blast. Yeah. Well, hopefully you can uh, you can join us again. It's the first Monday of every month, and we uh, we have people from all over the world. Actually, it's kind of a tough um, kind of a tough time for people that are outside the U.S. But we're we're working on ideas that maybe will help with that. And uh, Iowa Scotsman, hello, Ron. Good to see you, sir. Welcome in. Welcome in. But um, yeah, I think. Um, I think that's about all the pre-event information here that I need to give you. 
And uh, let's see. We've got... Um, yeah, we've got, we've got five people here right now and maybe a couple of others that uh, aren't in the voice but maybe are flying. And Usually, like, if you're uh, intimidated by this type of, of flying because of radio comms or anything like that, don't be because it really truly is... It's meant to be VFR. We don't really talk to ATC. We just talk to each other. And so we just, like, we're our own group of about, you know, Hello. Test, test, test. 10 to 20 <laughs> pilots that uh, that comes come out and, and we buzz around and we just have a good time. Hey, there is um, there is our friend Beaver 54 Echo Alpha. Hello, Eric. Too zombie to join. Yeah, well, it's only 2 in the morning where you live. I mean, geez, what's the deal? Um, but, uh, yeah, man, uh, if nothing else, I'm happy that the beaver seems to be playing nicely because X-Plane has really been very, very buggy and glitchy for me lately. So um, it's I was really happy when I was able to load in last night uh, when I got home and, uh, and uh, everything seemed to work okay. Now, I haven't done anything to it other than load today, so, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't want to... I don't want to, uh, you know, jinx myself. Well, let's just say this, Eric. Um, yeah, the it it will not behave. It'll behave like it always behaves, which means it's going to be a rough and entertaining night. But um, but at least the sim is running. All of the rest of the like, as you say, the shenanigans are all pilot induced, <laughs> um, uh, pilot induced errors. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's get this thing started. And again, I'm just going to kind of monitor the uh, the back channels here as we as we go. And if anybody has any questions, um, you know, hop into the voice channel there, the Downwind Sim voice uh, group flights voice channel, and happy to uh, walk you through anything. But our first uh, challenge here is to just get this doggone thing started. Let's get the airframe count re reset to zero. Uh, a big overview shot of the location so absolutely so let's do this let's go here let's go up 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 and away and uh yeah so here's here's the city of gnome hey rob bunker hello and here's the gnome kind of the big gnome international airport this is the harbor area and then uh you know here's here's us and We've got, yeah, um, you left the snow on. Yeah, it, it is. It, it's very snowy up here. <laughs> and uh, yes, and so I didn't take that into account when I planned this trip, but uh, it is very, very snowy up here. But uh, Feather River is out here on the coast. Um, we do have kind of up, uh, I think up this way is one of our locations, of course, uh, Solomon State. We have to go actually all the way around. You can kind of see this little, this little sound here. It's all the way on the far side of the sound, and then most of the action. Well, a lot of the action is up the uh, Solomon River there on the other side of this bluff. But yeah, very very cool and uh, really really a neat a neat place to fly. So. Shuzi. Hey, Kevin. How's it going? She's helping your daughter move, and so just drop by say hi. Well enjoy buddy and uh, best of luck to your daughter hope she has a hope she has a great uh, uh, summer uh, semester and yeah hello to hello to you and yours and yeah yeah hey Beethoven happy fly Hi, Chris thank you thank you it'll be fun it'll be fun it'll be a lot of a lot of a uh, lot of fun all right here we go you guys let's see if I remember how to start this thing um, Let's get all this stuff off here. I did uh, I did set our fuel tank to the rear. We've got our mags. Ignition, everything is off. Parking brake is set. All this stuff here is off, except for this random switch here, which is always on. I don't know why. The yeah, turn bank indicator apparently is a very, very important switch to leave on. Ah, who knew? But uh, all right. Uh, we will go ahead and... Put the master on. The uh, alternator can come on. We let's just take a peek here. Make sure. Gosh darn it! I keep hitting the wrong thing here. There goes somebody. 
I can hear. Can't really see, but you can hear. You can kind of see out the back there. I think we're good. And I don't have any any fuel in the tip tanks right now. I'm gonna try that. I've been I've been wondering if my handling has been hampered by having fuel in the tip tanks. I'm taking that out tonight, and everything is in the uh, the, the rear, center, and front tanks here. So we'll see how that goes. Um, all right, fuel quantities. I should be pretty full on all tanks here. The uh, rear tank totally full, and everything else at 25 gallons. That should be plenty. Um, it, okay, thank you, Eric, for. <laughs> Um, for that. Have I seen the uh, the TV series? Yeah, Flying Wild Alaska, the Tweedos. Really sad, sad uh, to hear that the dad passed away. The Jim died in a in an accident there. That was very sad. But yeah, I liked watching that show an awful lot. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we need to get the mixture full rich. Crack that throttle. Let's get a little bit of wobble pump fuel pressure here. Always oh, good to start your evening with a little wobble pump here. Three and a four and a five and maybe one more for good measure. It's a little bit on the chilly side so I'm going to give it about uh, I'm going to give it about five pumps of primer here. If that doesn't work I'm just going to take a can of fuel and just take it out and just pour it directly all over the engine. That should help. There is uh, four and five. We're gonna hope we don't flood it. All right. Prop area is clear. Mags are coming on, and let's uh, let's do this and get where I can see everything here. I'm going to give it another shot and uh, starting to sniff to see if I can smell the uh, hmm, smell the uh, smell of fuel. I might have went too much. You do five to eight squirts. Um, Okay, so there's. I just did five. So let's uh, again. Let's keep the fuel pressure up here. And I'm going to come down here. Let's give it a couple more. There would be seven. There'd be eight. Let's see if that gets us over the hump here. Negative. Oh boy. All right. Uh, open the throttle just a little bit more. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna have to uh, work the. Uh... Oh, there she was. Just didn't have enough. Wasn't giving her enough beans there. Yeah, Iowa Scotsman said said the same thing. Yeah, you guys are both on it. Very nice. Very nice. We're gonna be kicking up some dirt here. Like I've got an open window, but that's just kind of one of the X plane eleven things. And all right, I think I can live with that. That's right, baby. Just a rumbly, grumbly thing of uh, thing of wonder there. Okay, let's go here. Um, Thousand. I'm, a, I'm running a little quick here. I don't need to be in too big of a hurry. Let's bring the uh, RPMs down to about a thousand. That should be good. Um, all right, everything I think looks good there. Let's come down here <laughs> through the <laughs> through the haze here, and let's go to 23. I've already forgot. 
23.6. See if we can hear the rest of the boys heading out. And 122.9er for the rest of the trip. Gnome City traffic, 114 is clear us. Clear the field, the the area to the east. Last call on Gnome City. All right, there's one of our hooligans. Very nice, very nice. And we're going to need a squawking code. That looks good. And we're going to need... We're going to need an altimeter here. Gnome itself is the closest uh, weather station, and it is reporting... Winds 0403, so we'll be departing north. And uh, scattered 3,300, yeah, that's fine. Minus 7 is our temperature, so yeah, chilly, like I say. And an altimeter of 2967. 2967, that's pretty close to where I left off yesterday in my test flight. We'll just give it a little nudge. We're just barely over, uh, over sea level here. Yeah, about 50 feet of elevation. That checks. And all right. I think that looks pretty good. Um, let's just come down here. Beacon light will turn on. Everything else for now will just leave off. Does it look like my comp too has popped out? Nope, it was good. All right. Um, beautiful. Should have looked at that first. How are we doing down here? Um, not bad, honestly. Everything's a little cool right now, so we're just going to take a minute to kind of get warmed up, and uh, that's totally fine with me. I might nudge it up just a smidgen here to kind of encourage that. And. I think we're okay. We've got a park on, so we don't really need anything else here. Maybe, maybe with some shadows here, we'll we'll uh, turn this up a little bit. Do some leaning too. Oh yeah, you know what? You're right. Let's not foul it out here. This is up as far as it can go. Okay, cool. And uh, all right, let's let's do some quick planning here, guys. While everybody's taking off, so we're going to head out, and basically we could work off of the gnome VOR here to help us out a little bit. So why don't we do that? We also have an NDB that we can tune, which will be kind of fun. But let's plan the uh, OME VOR on 115 nothing, and that puts us out there off of a 066 for 22 miles. This first place is actually not too bad to find because you just have to kind of follow the coastline, and uh, you should see it. But um, not a not a bad thing to just have a little back up there. Plus, we need a minute to warm up anyway, so we'll put 15 nothing in, and that is tuned from last night. And then 066. Let's see what we have set here. That's not that's not too good here. So there's there's five, there's six. That'll be ready to go. And what else do I need? Oh, I need to. So no weather really here at uh, Solomon State, but I'm going to assume that everything kind of kind of feels like it's coming off the ocean tonight. So let's let's go take a look at Solomon State. Looks like we've got a runway one and runway one niner. So dirt, gravel, in poor condition. <laughs> and uh, there was a, yeah, this one, a recommend visual inspection prior to landing. <laughs> Runway condition not monitored. North-south prevailing wind. So yeah, we'll, we'll plan a little uh, left-hand pattern into runway one at Solomon State. And uh, yeah, look south of the airport, there's a big white and blue thing going there. My, Mighty handy. What are you talking about? The big white and blue thingy. Talking on the chart here. What are you talking about? Looks 
south of the airport. Uh, so I'm a little slow tonight. Half the map. Yeah, you're talking about the uh, the ocean, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll it'll hopefully be uh, I, it'll hopefully be something that I can I, I use to my advantage at least on this first leg. What's this NDB? I need to get this NDB. It's the uh, Fort Davis five two niner. I'm just I don't even know. This is uh, if I have the ability to tune an NDB five two nine. Do I have an NDB in this particular? Uh, I do actually. My carb temp is flickering. I don't like that. Tip, 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 tip. What's going on? Why are you doing that to me? Suction looks good. Amps are amping. Bolts are bolting. Yoga Dog says hello, by the way. And, uh, oh man, we got, we got lots. We got enough green. I think we can head on out. So I think we will. CDI needle is kind of bugged. The pointer sometimes goes dark, so be careful to correct. Well, you know what else I need to do is just uh, make sure we're lined up here. Looks like about 126-ish to me, and uh, yeah, I could live with that. Okay. Well, let's do it, boys and girls. You can see the you can see the wind sock there, and again, we're uh, not crazy. Actually, only three knots of wind, so I can't use wind as a as an excuse tonight. No traffic. Beaver November one one eight one six is uh, departing runway one. We will be uh, will be right hand crosswind departure VFR to the east. Uh, what are you talking about, Eric? Maybe he's perfect. What are you talking about. <laughs> Good catch, my friend. Good catch. All right, here we go. And as is always the uh, first order of business, can we taxi? And then if we can taxi straight, can we do this thing called turning? <laughs> Pretty close. I should have done a run-up before I went anywhere. Dang it. Have anybody else here? Yeah, I do. All right. Uh, super fast run up here. Bad job on my part. Okay, brakes are set. Um. Yeah, it's 1750. drops. Let's check center tank. We're running on center tank. Front tank, running on front tank. Okay, I can live with that. Check for carb ice. How do I check for carb ice? How do I do that? I mean, it's cold for sure. How do I... So you want me to throw some carb heat in? Is that what you need me to do? Definitely warmed it up. I kind of feel like maybe I should leave it there. Don't you? Oh, I, you do kind of have carb heat on during uh, departure and uh, arrival, don't you? I keep forgetting about that. All right. Are we good? 
Let's go two notches of flaps and let's get out of here. Abstro landing pito. Boy, if I get out of here without ground looping, I'm going to be so happy. Easy. Uh, she tried. <laughs> you little rascal. You little yellow rascal, you. Sure you're awake. Just wanted to make sure you're awake. <laughs> How are we doing out there? If we're clear. Nope, city traffic. Beaver 816 is uh, turning right hand to crosswind departing the area eastbound. Last call for Nome City. Gonna try to head kind of to the coastline here. I know I have my. I know that I have uh, only 22 miles, so I'm gonna just back it off here. Just really be kind of fuel conscious today try to, you know, I'm going to be doing over 100 knots anyway, so it's uh, really no need to get crazy. But uh, well, welcome, guys. Thank you so much for coming. I, I hope you guys have uh, all had a good start to your week. It was a Monday, you know, so there there is that. But um, otherwise, I think we're doing pretty good. Bush tires and mud flaps tonight, by the way. You know, my base is covered. All right, how are we doing? I'm not planning on getting much more than about a thousand feet. There's, I think, one leg I got to climb up to about maybe 2,500 to get over top of the hills. But uh, you like your beaver muddy and dirty. <laughs> I thought I'd be nice. I, I thought, actually, the truth of the matter is, I was kind of hoping it would uh, help with the ground loop somehow. I mean, I, it, it won't, but you know, a guy can a guy can hope. I haven't flown this thing in like two months, so <laughs> there's our needle. So we're doing good there, guys. And uh, again, I don't. Eh, you know what? We could probably cut the cut the corner. We just we just flew past our radio there, so. It might not be bad for us to try to hand fly. Yep, now we're now we're outbound, so we just uh, just headed over the top of it. We need to get our supplies out to the miners anyway. So how about a zero four zero. Let's see if we can intercept there. Trimmy trim. She still trims out just so beautifully. I mean, this is one of the most enjoyable planes to hand fly. I mean, truly. It's no fun at all to take off or land. Ah, I just uh, overshot it again. <laughs> but it's fun to fly. And I'm chasing the needles just like the pros do, I'm told. Yeah, something like that. I'm so close to the VOR right now that it's just like super sensitive. So let's just, uh, we'll just turn ourselves and fly roughly. Zero seven zero. That'll get us pretty close. Planning a left hand pattern to runway one. So let's uh, why not set that guy to runway to one zero. So I yeah I think honestly um, I don't know but I think one of the biggest industries is mining. Um, but uh, yeah I I would guess the uh, I would guess the fishing industry is big. But um, 
probably there is some some uh, guided hunts fishing trips and things like that but yeah I don't honestly I don't know it's just so far up here I mean but there's a lot of active gold mines in the area still and, uh, that's kind of our focus but half geek you did uh, a school thing about the Alaskan willow project what is that thinking wind from the northwest yeah I feel like I feel like that's accurate Eric and a lot of these a lot of these airstrips don't have any kind of uh, wind indicator either so you just kind of have to feel it as you're coming in I did notice something quirky on the um, the very first airstrip here it, um, when I so I updated all these from a project that we did back in X Plane 11, and uh, one of the things that I didn't realize was, or I thought I'd done a better job of, is I I have the auto gen buildings that are coming in now. And there's one very very close to this first airstrip, but I didn't have time to fix it. So, really big oil mining project in northern Alaska that Biden approved, huh? Uh, yeah. I didn't know that's what it was called. That's interesting. Yeah, lots of, I'm sure lots of gas, lots of oil. It's a big mining area. Lots of natural resources. But just a uh, really, really difficult place to live. Okay, uh, what do we have here? I think we're kind of going over the kind of the outskirts of the safety sound here, I think. Sort of what we're seeing. Um, about six miles away, so I've got uh, another, another 12, 6 and 22 minus 6, uh, 16, 16-ish miles to go. Ah, there is the man, the myth, the legend, the world traveler, Mr. Downwind, Aloysius Sim himself. Ralph, how are you, my friend? Long time no no see, no talk. We've got another good crowd of uh, hooligans, and so far, everybody's done pretty good. X Plane 12 is playing nicely. <laughs> He's in the back. That's right. I don't even know what. I think I have a cargo config. No oh, passenger config, yeah, maybe. I should have a. Do I have? I don't have a downwind sim seat set up here. Let's uh, let's fix that here. I'm gonna. I'll have you sitting on the uh, left hand side tonight, there, Mr. Downwind Simulations. There you go. That's a pretty good look. Those trees, by the way, those are autogen trees. Those are uh, not really there. Like, uh, they don't do trees in Nome. <laughs> you think you're still in Dallas. <laughs> uh, well, that's just as long as you make it home at some point. you got to be home before dinner, young man. Downwind Sim, as always, uh, a huge thank you for your work on the Microsoft Flight Sim airports. And all of the uh, all the ones, if you're flying in fussy pants, those are uh, courtesy of the mad scientist of uh, flight simulation. Fly home this coming Sunday. Oh man. Okay. Well, that's still a little ways out, but. 
Hill Maker. 10 out, 12 to go, about halfway there. And, you know, I'm, I'm just going to leave those two, two notches of flaps out. You can cruise with that, as long as you don't get crazy. But, uh, no, everything seems to be going pretty well there. Ralph, and uh, we definitely miss you, though. Oh, man. I didn't realize it was that long. Yeah, that's a that's a full that's just a whisker short of a, a full month there. That's just a, a gnome shrub short of a full month. The ortho does a pretty good job, by the way. You're going to see some mining activity up here, which is uh, kind of cool, kind of interesting, I think. Um. But the, um, I feel like the Microsoft uh, scenery really does a nice job of showing the, uh, like the tailings and things like that. Some of the, some of that stuff in this ortho is still pretty flat, pretty featureless. It looks great. Though. I love the look of this. I mean, it's just so unique up here. Greens and grays and blues. And it's just such a different. Such a different looking place. Every bit of this is frozen solid right now. But I tell you what, you have got to want to find gold if you're going to do this up here. Need the review, <laughs> the Uncle Melvin review. Yeah, it's. I'm hoping that you know my usual approach to fixing flight sim, right, is to uh, well, number one, call you. Uh, you weren't available because you got to earn a living or whatever. Um, I don't know where that. What like I'm not sure where the 24/7 tech support that uh, I was promised went there. But anyway, um, so then. Whoops. Number two, uh, and this is actually becoming more of my favorite approach, is to just do nothing and then come back to the sim like two weeks later and everything works. So, <laughs> here in Alaska, you can also encounter the old installations of the White Alice line. Oh, uh, you mean review for the PC-6. Ah, yeah. You know, I think Fixness is flying that. I missed that, uh, that update that message there but I think Fixie's flying it I uh, pocket sand skydive Rob has it I know and um, beyond that I don't know but yeah I I saw that came out and um, yeah I'm really saving my pennies for the um, I'm saving my pennies for the uh, for the Duke the Beach Duke oh Rock Valkyrie picked it up as well nice and I'm hoping it's performing nicely for you. Oh, so far so good, Pixie says. It looks fantastic as as ever. Um, PC6, yeah. It's just what a what an iconic bush plane, right? So, I'm sure at some point I will uh, grab it. There was a little bit of a discount for. Um, For previous owners, oh, you're thinking about Rob's. Rob's looking at the, uh, at the, uh, yeah, the Blackbird sim. I have that one for, uh, I have that one for MSFS. It's very good, Rob. You'll like it. You'll definitely like it. I'm getting close. I need to probably make a radio call here. Ten bucks right now. Oh, I thought, and I thought there was a little bit of a discount too. If you were, I don't know, but anyway, at Solomon State Field Traffic. Beaver 11816 is about five miles to the west of the field at 800 feet. We're going to be entering left-hand pattern, runway one, Solomon State. Thrandeville, there you go. Yep, there it is. Oh, Rob, you're flying the Beaver. Okay, gotcha. 18 out of 
four miles out. I should be able to see it here pretty soon. And I actually, I'm going to, maybe I'll overfly it. Solomon State traffic, the grade 16. We're going to overfly the field uh, 700 and uh, jump in the left upwind runway one. Solomon State traffic. All right, there is um, no discount price for previous owner. Dan had a long-winded post about that. Oh, but Rob is saying yes, there might be because he got one. All right, well, I'm going to I'm going to investigate for sure. Uh, because I do like that aircraft in and if you know if um, for whatever reason X plane is playing nicely with these bush planes then you know then that's that's that works for me okay that's 19 point eight we're two miles away here I think I see it yeah that's right there so we're gonna overfly and take a look see the these like one of these houses is like right on the freaking runway. Dude, that's just goes to show you what happens when you don't do a good job of excluding things. Like, uh, yeah. So you're discounted. Um, you're seeing. I did see the discount at the store too. So. So we're kind of hitting this at a weird angle here, but it's generally an overfly. I don't hear anybody else here either. So what I'm trying to see is if I can figure out if there's a uh, any kind of a prevailing wind here. As I'm just sort of flying here, I don't... Feels like... Feels like... You know, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what I think. There we go. All right, we're going to turn... Almost State traffic, the grade 16 is turning uh, left upwind, runway 1, it's almost State. I just about went right downwind. <laughs> There's the topic, Fixies find it. Okay, cool. Cool. So much reading. I'm not sure I'm in favor of that. They're good fixes, but anyway. Well, I'm not at uh, pattern height here, but you know what? We're at Alaska pattern height, so that's that's what's important. Nobody's taken off. Solomon State traffic beep rate 16 is on the right crosswind runway one. Solomon State. There we go. Do I see the field? Yes, there it is. It's uh, it's uh, right here guy right here, this little grass strippy strip. Oh, I don't have my house in the way now. Oh, very nice. Alright. Solomon State traffic B rate 16 is left downwind runway 1, Solomon State. Suddenly I've climbed to pattern altitude to need to do that. Oh, this dark shadowy stuff. trim here. My carb temp has completely went off the rails here in a, in a bad way, I think. It's super low. A couple more notches of flaps. Good lord. I've lost sight of the field. I don't know where I am. Am I still in Nome? Am I still in Alaska? All right, I'm going to do the old uh, backcountry 182 guy and extend my downwind here. White Alice was a communication system used during the Cold War. Yeah, that, that sounds awesome, man. I've never heard of that either. Solomon State traffic, Beaver 816 is left base to final runway 1, Solomon State. All right, we're plenty slow. No need to be that slow. Let's see if I can locate my uh, VLU. I've overshot it. I've overshot it. About to stall here in the turn. Let's not do that. Really overshot it.
couple of splashes of flaps there and here uh, comes the first um, ground loop of the evening guys ladies and gentlemen here we go bounce easy 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 she stops when she's ready to stop all right I can live with that I can live with that let's get out of the way <laughs> uh -huh. There we go, boys and girls. Let's clean up. Yeah, I need to uh, do something real fast here. What the heck is going on? My carb temps. Okay, there they were crazy high there, but I think I'm going to kind of have to leave them that way, right? Or they were, I'm sorry, crazy low there for a little bit. Um, Alright, let's lean for just a second. And uh, I will pull the car beat back off while I'm kind of in between sessions here. Um, Alright. Uh, what have I missed here? Oh, Beethoven show, sharing a link with the uh, White Alice communication there's the there's the distant early warning radar. Yeah, nice, nice. Get lost. Oh, that that feels good for us here. <laughs> um, more than 150 pages. Oh, this is my kind of jam, my friend. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Wow, we wow wow. Okay, I'm gonna keep that tab open. I'm gonna keep that tab open. I'm opening up that white Alice. Thank you for sharing that, Chris. That's really cool. All right. Well, here we go. Um, we made it to the first spot, and now a couple of uh, bonus stops here. Maybe you like touch and go or something. But we're just going to head up only about four miles to uh, kind of up the uh, Solomon River here. We should find a place called Lee's Camp. And then if we sort of go a little bit more back to the west, could Lee's Camp. And then if we're feeling good about life, we're going to hop either back over here to the river and come up here to uh, Casa de Paga and, or Ruby Roadhouse. These, I added these last minute because I had them for the X-Plane 11 version of the, um, of the event. And so they're not available in Microsoft Lightsim because I didn't have time to update the X-Plane ones and the MSFS ones. So that's why, if you're wondering, why aren't they available in uh, in Fussy Pants as well. But um, anyway, uh, sounds like a great scenery idea. Yeah, I totally agree. And we've got somebody coming in, by the way, so am I out of the way far enough here, do you think? Let's, um, let's move up by... Move up by the sign here. I saw the traffic kind of coming in there, but we're going to be grass taxiing down here anyway, so we might as well just sort of buzz up next to. You. Going around. Okay, I heard that. Solomon State traffic. Beaver 816. We're going to be grass taxiing back to uh, runway one, but we'll stay clear and enjoy the uh, landing. Hey, uh, Melvin. Yes, sir. I think the, the sign at Salmon Lake says Angstrom Field. Oh, no. In the X plane scenery? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the heads up on that. I'll go take a look, and I apologize for that, but good catch. It took me 
a second to think if I was at the right place or not. But, but there's a big body of water here, so I think it's Salmon Lake. Yeah, it's that would uh, not be unlike me. But uh, thanks for thanks for noticing that, and uh, I'll try to get that thing updated. Okay, we were gonna we were gonna keep taxiing all right now. I got those mud flaps on now. Let's hop back in so I can hear. Oh, yeah, I just noticed that. Yep, one, two, two, decimal nine. Yeah, en route, and really all of the airfields except for Nome City will be 22 niner. What is got Feather River? Region, 122.8 otherwise. Yeah. River's also one two two point nine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we kind of what we what we've been doing is I think technically when you're on route you're supposed to be twenty two eight but since everything here is so close together um, we just kind of as a group tend to just stay on twenty two nine or unless there's a specific frequency for a field but uh, you can definitely monitor twenty two eight if you want to but I think most of our comms are on twenty two nine. That's right. Isn't that what the briefing said? Yeah, well, who reads that anyway, though? That's boring. <laughs> yeah, the briefing didn't have any numbers in. Yeah, no, I don't think it did, but I usually just uh, leave it as, you know, just make sure you're on the right frequency. But um, anyway, yeah, it's uh, 22 niner, I think, is what we're, what we're using. All right, so here we go. Let's. Uh, let's our car heat looks pretty I'll good here. I one boat, so wanted to check. And we're going to put that back on here. And we are going to uh, check our tanks here. We're still pretty good, I think, with that. I need to depart here um, like a zero one zero. So I'm going to set that. And we're just uh, completely, yeah, just basically runway heading for just four miles. We're not going to use the, obviously not going to use the uh, VOR for this, but... Um, see how this goes. Solomon State Traffic B grade 16 is uh, departing runway 1. We'll be uh, straight out northbound VFR, Solomon State. Um, standing by for the ground, for the takeoff ground loop. Yeah. Uh, let's, uh, it hasn't happened yet, but there's no way it's not going to happen here. You know when it'll happen is when I'm like on a Freaking paved runway or something where it shouldn't happen. Thomas, traffic here for me. I'm gonna hang out to the south of the runway and we'll watch what you use for a runway because I've got snow and can't see it. Uh, Roger that. Yeah, it's just uh, look kind of to the west of the dirt road there, and you should hopefully see a little grass strip, but it might be pretty tough without the uh, or with the snow. Lights, camera, action. Uh, actually, hold on here. Trim. Don't want this baby going uh, nose up too early, so here we go. It's almost date. That me grade 16 is on the roll, runway one. Come on, girl. Be good to me. Be good to me. You rascal. You P factor little vixen. Too 
high because we're like I say we're very close to uh, where we need to be here so just right up the river and there's one there's one sort of false landing strip uh, it looks like a, again it's a mining camp but past that, just past that. In fact, I think I see that fault strip yeah, right here. And this is where you don't really see the tailings in X-Plane, but in Microsoft Flight Sim, the tailings piles here look really nice. They're really cool. But, uh, yeah, you got lost around here last time. I know I, I, I was trying to find, I know I put a strip up here in the hills somewhere, but I couldn't find it either on the map or in my old scenery. Yeah, this is uh, all. All this stuff has been dredged. I mean, many times over. Tim Dog. Oh, hey Tim, thank you for the reascription, my friend. So there's an old airstrip there. And uh, anyway, hello, sir. Thank you for 11 months, buddy. Welcome to Nome, Alaska, and we're getting ready to set down at Lee's camp. There it is. I think what I'm going to do is just do a little touch and go here at Lee's camp. This is one of the old um, X-Plane 11 last minute add-ons. Kind of a neat little spot. You tried out Beyond ATC this evening, and what do you think? and easy touch and goes are definitely not my strong suit in this particular aircraft Feeling a little bit low On this patch of tr bushes, trees. Well, uh, kind of. Bounce and go, I guess. Technically, that counts, right? <laughs> These camp traffic. Beaver 816 is touch and go, uh, continuing northbound to uh, quickly. Uh, just about rolled it over there on the stall. All right, up we go here. Now, I have to actually come off the river, if I'm remembering right. Like, I need to kind of come up this way. If I'm thinking correctly, to find Quigley's. Uh, we're gonna see. You think it? Uh, I think I'll like it for the times when there's no ATC. Yeah, yeah. And you're trying to uh, learn a harder plane. Yeah, absolutely. I can see that for sure. Quigley's camp traffic, Beaver 816, is uh, just south of the field and uh, looking for the field right now. At, uh, we're at 400. I think if this is not it, we're going to head back to the, uh, to the river. I was only three miles away, so I guess I should be seeing it here really quickly. Might have turned just a little bit too. Oh gosh, 332. Yeah, I might have turned a little too much. Might have turned a bit too much. Not see anything up here. All right. Um, can we make it up over this ridge? I think we can. Last peak just to make sure. 
Yeah, I don't see anything up that way. Yeah, let's turn back eastbound. See if we can locate the river. It, it's actually... Um, like up on a little bit of a ridge line, I think. Yeah, there's, uh, there's Lee's camp again. We hit that one already. All right, so let's just kind of head back up here. <laughs> He'll try to keep track of, uh, of uh, Melvin for me. Uh, it's a tough job, I tell you what. It's, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a handful. Oh, what's this? Flying right over something. Ah. All right, I don't think that was it. Another mining camp, but that's not. They've got an airstrip too. I mean. Oh, here we go. I've got it. I've got it. Loose camp traffic B brake 16 is uh, just south of the field, inbound touch and go. Quickly. See if we can actually uh, do a touch and go and not a bounce and go. All right, one more. <laughs> then you're off the stuff for good, right? We're out of here on a James Bond heading 007 if we are successful here. This is a better profile. And this is a wide open place to land too, so that's kind of makes it nice. And there are not trees here, but there are a bunch of shrubs and bushes and arctic tundra. Crapping a little bit. It's off our left a bit here. That's a little better. Up we go. That was better? <laughs> yeah. That was better than the first one, that's for sure. Alright, uh, northbound 007 here is where we're trying to go. Now the problem with finding these next places is they they depart from the uh, from the river a little bit. So there goes the Solomon River, and we kind of, actually, we're still on it, but uh, it departs a little bit from the river. So we're going to do our best. This is only an eight-mile leg, so we're just going to kind of roll up here. We do have a, I, I believe we have a 1,600-foot little, uh, little hill to deal with here. It might be it right there off the corner. <laughs> yeah, the tail uh, will whip at any point. Isn't that the truth? Just about the time you take an exhale is when it decides to go on a little, a little journey. Here's another couple of uh, mining spots. You can see all that's been dredged. You know, all that stuff in there. That hillside's been hit hard. Kind of interesting. I think this is a railroad too. I don't know there's cars on it, but um, I believe this is a railroad. Okay, we're going to just stay here. And uh, I 
think this is... Well, it's really hard to tell. And at a certain point, this becomes Casabadega Creek. And... But these camps are sort of just out there. They're not really... One of them, well, one of them is actually, I think Ruby Roadhouse is just a, I think it's just a uh, gravel bar. I should have, you know what I should have done is I should have got a BOR. here I'm wondering the distances are they are they're just crazy up here um, I feel like I'm straying a little too far off the river all right I'm gonna I'm gonna head back see if I can intercept Just over the hill. Uh, like I, it could be up this little wash here, or it could be over the top of this ridge line. It's really hard to tell. It could be over here. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let me go back to where I know where I was not lost. Beethoven saying maybe it's better to have a turboprop in uh, Alaska. Yeah, you know, I think I think those turboprops are pretty effective uh, wherever you take them. But man, I tell you, it's hard to it's hard to take a DHC two out of uh, out of Alaska, man. It's just it's just a, almost a perfect plane for what you're trying to do. So versatile. So I'm going to come back here, just looping around and uh, trying to pick this river back up. There we go. There's our river southbound here. That's where I was going. Okay, I'm heading back south. I don't want to be doing that. I want to be heading east. You guys, I'm going to do something here offline or off screen. I'm going to try to try to grab a radio here. All right, oh, I am showing uh, 31 miles on a 039 radio. We're again, we're just using the known VOR. So, uh, thank you, uh, Will. Will Wade Dumbly, hello, welcome. I'm lost already in Nome, Alaska. So 039er. Let's uh, whoops, spin that around. And 31 nautical miles. We currently are 28. Oh man, so I'm pretty close. And it's showing right now. But I need to start heading east. Or at least a little bit more northeast. So yeah, back up this river. So maybe I was uh, not as far off as I thought. I think what I had done though is I think I was kind of heading up. I was kind of heading up this draw here. I wanted to go up this one here. Uh, slow down a bit. Carb temps are way high. I'm on. Oh, there we go. Cold. And whoops. And then I need to. How's my fuel? It's looking good. Looking really good. Okay. Pentagon. 34 months. Rob, holy moly. Thank you, dude. It's cool. 
Welcome, my friend. Great to see you, sir. They're, they're trying to make me do math, by the way, Pentagon. I don't know what the deal is, but... Uh, oh, and here I am getting off of the Bagon River again. What is my problem? Because I'm following the... Uh, I'm chasing the VOR needle, aren't I? All right, so this is what I'm wrestling with, you guys. So I see, um, like, if I follow the river, it, like, it takes me pretty darn close. It kind of peters off here. But I think this, uh, this railway takes me right up to Casa Bodega. However, I have tuned this guy in, and this is also what I'm trying to intercept. So um, I'm between a rock and a hard place right now, and I am... 31 miles, so I may be too far already. I'm right at 31 miles, so I'm like... Hmm. Anyone seeing a mining camp around these parts? Alright, I don't. So let's go... Uh, let's... Let's go get on the radio, and we'll see. Again, like I think uh, it was Beethoven that pointed out, the distances are pretty vast here, so you know you could be a degree off and be four or five miles off of your actual intended location here. But what I do remember is they both are along this um, this river, so or a river, so. Let's just uh, let's just go till we intercept, and then we will turn. I want to turn back. This this is actually looking kind of promising here. It's over the top. Of course, if you're flying up here in modern times, right? You would you'd have the GPS coordinates and you'd just be plugging stuff in and going straight there. But we're a stubborn old bush pilot. All right, this is looking promising. I've got a river. Is my, uh, is my needle budging at all? It's not even, not even thinking about it. Okay, so that's not... Clearly, that's not it, then. All right, we're going to go over the top of this hill. Maybe there's another... I mean, there's so many so many uh, different washes and drainages and stuff. I do think it's moving a little bit now. Or is that just my imagination? don't find it I am not like like I don't have to find every single airstrip here we've had we've had many a bush league adventure in fact this was one of them where we didn't find everything so if this doesn't work we will our next um, location is uh, uh, salmon lake lost again yeah that's that's kind of what it's kind of what we do down with Sam right <laughs> So we're, we're right on it. If we can, like, we literally are going to overfly. We probably won't even see it if we find it. But, uh, where am I? Oh, wait a second. That's looking pretty, pretty manicured and suspiciously airstrippy, my friends. All right. I think that's it. Let's, let's go down and investigate. So this is Casa Bodega, I think. And then Ruby Ranch is north of that, yes. All right, very good. Make a plan, stick to it. Look at my, yep, look at my needle. Coming in. Coming in. Yeah, I'd have wandered around forever had I not done this. Casa Bodega traffic, beaver 816. 
is about uh, three miles east of the field inbound, 2,300 Caspodega. Whoa, I don't need to do that. These things don't, what I read, these things don't like to descend at anything more than about a thousand foot per minute. They just, it's hard on the engine. I've not exactly been babying this thing. All my constant up and downs. Uh, I have no idea where my carbs are now. Turn that back on. Yeah, that's definitely looking. My The bushes kind of gave it away, but there I can see the airstrip now. This looks like, oh yeah, this is a uh, really uphill airstrip if you land. Um, one way, and if you land the other, uh, you're going to have a little bit of a, oh, I think we're going to take the uphill landing, which would be like about a zero, about a 140, call that runway 14, okay, very good. Casabodega traffic, Beaver 16 is a left downwind runway 14, touching go, Casabodega. There was, a, there was an airstrip up here that we thought about. Yeah, there's lots of places around here I'm remembering now. All right. Touch and go, touch and go, touch and go. Let's manage the speed. Okay, we're good there. Casabodega traffic, beat rate 16 left base to final one for touch and go, Casabodega. liking this. I'm just going to do a low pass. I'm, I'm actually over the runway right now. This is it. It's kind of part of this road system. And right about here is the end of the runway. So yeah, we, we kind of screwed that up. do just a quick overfly because Ruby Roadhouse is like it's like a mile up the uh, up the river here and you land on the sandbar and again I don't know that we will because I think we need to kind of maybe progress towards some of these other airfields but yeah you'd be uh, if you're departing you start right at the edge of these bushes and kind of head down this way airfield kind of runs here the road has since sort of veered off and so anyway it's it's an interesting little place to to fly no doubt about that but then I think this is Ruby Roadhouse get this pulled up and I think the place that you land here is right on this sandbar that's what we've got set up what are these sandbars In the original X.12 version of this, I remember down with Sim, you and I, we made, we took this, we took this river and we set up a bunch of sandbar landing places. I don't, I don't think they're set up necessarily for that right now. Yeah, you can't. The water is pretty close, honestly. But anyway, this is a cool little, cool little area, no doubt about that. All right, all right enough messing around. <laughs> Oh, and Fixie, now you've got some precip? Uh-oh. Um, all right, you guys, so we're going to do this now. Um, 
Solomon State is uh, is zero zero two. Let's see if we can climb out of here. So I do have a little terrain here. Thirty two twenty two. Set this to zero zero two. Oh darn it! Can't do two things at once here. Apparently, there's three sixty one two. All right, beautiful. And uh, about twenty six miles from Nome, so we're just gonna sort of fly it because we're. 30 miles, so we're going to just fly and we'll intercept course here and uh, just make sure we get over the top of the terrain. Now, as I'm looking at this, what I may need to do here, we've got all kinds of uh, stuff going on here. What I might need to do, if I end up north of the field, I'm going to be in this mountainous area, so what I might need to do is kind of come, try to come down maybe here and intercept it. So maybe like more on a 270 intercept course. Yeah, which is sort of what I'm doing right now, 270-ish. You know, I may try to come down. In fact, I might even go just a little further south. About 250. Let's try that for now. tank is doing pretty good still. We're going to empty it out. Carb temps again just going off the charts here, so let's uh, pull back like half on that. Hey, where are you going, girl? Here I am talking about how nicely it trims out, <laughs> and I can't fly it straight level all of a sudden. time hearing those guys in uh, Discord. out right now, but I can barely hear those guys. I could do the unthinkable, you guys. I kind of feel bad that I can't hear the, the chatter going on here. Uh, just in case anybody has a question. I think most, for the most part, they're all doing pretty well, though. Uh, we're definitely closing ground here, and we need to be um, 26 miles. So, yeah, this is a pretty good... Please, 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 level out. There we go. That'll work. 240 at uh, 2,300. 2,500 I think will get us over everything, so I'm gonna try just a little easy, lazy climb up here to 25. All right, I've been away from chat here for just a minute. Uh, Rob has a dog riding along. Yeah, I saw that, that's awesome, I love that. I love that. 
kind of reminds me of that uh, that helicopter pilot Brad Friesen. He's always got his his bulldog Bentley with him. Well, it's his girlfriend's bulldog, but he always flies. He's got the goggles and the little earphones on. It's awesome. Hmm. Well, Downwind Sim, are you at least having uh, success with you know what you're working on and all that good stuff? It's been a good good trip for the business and you're getting your projects taken care of and all that. Salmon Lake I hope. traffic, experimental 129 Alpha Pop, uh, six south of the Good. field, Good. inbound full stop runway 33, Salmon Lake. All right, so there's traffic where we're going, and his voice sounded uh, fairly good, so... Well, there's our friend, November 8033 Tree Tree Fox. Hello, Michael. Welcome, sir. And Texas One Flyboy. He's been here working and lurking. TFB, good to see you. Hello. Test, test, test. We're on our... Uh, on our own little leg here from Casapodega Camp, mining camp, to uh, Sol uh, Salmon Lake. Up here, this is, uh, we're just north of Nome, Alaska, flying in the Bush League backcountry, flying number 55. If you are here just lurking away, hello, welcome to the Melvin Leroy Channel. My name is Brant. On the first Monday of every month, we do a backcountry fly-in called the Bush League Backcountry Fly-in. This is number 55. So we have, uh, we've been doing it for a while. We have a lot of fun. TFB and Downwind Sim are going to, are going to meet for breakfast tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> but all the information is over on, um, the uh, downwindsimp.com website and if you are interested in this type of flying whether it's X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Sim Thanks you can, uh, you can head that way uh, east to west, there's a bunch of freeware series you can download you. and we would love to have you this is my last stop for tonight how's it been going though Rob? going good, I kind of like this beef yeah, it's it's got uh, it's got a few. Um, I don't know if you have the Got Friends mod, but that really helps it out as well. But it's you're right, it's nice. Yes, yeah, I got both. I got the Got Friends 40 Thunder Suite, and I got some sort of mod too. Yep, good, good. Yeah, that one in in uh, Microsoft Light Sim. That's that's basically the old Milviz Beaver. And that was the first Beaver I ever flew. That's kind of where I fell in love with the plane. So it is a solid, solid add-on. And this is a solid bank of clouds that we're coming up on. I wonder if this is where Good Fixins ran into his precip. Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> Yeah, we've it's been just regular weather, and I have live weather, live time, so nothing crazy, none of the none of the uh, random rain. But here, I think we might get into something, and it's it's negative, like negative ten out, so it probably ought to be snow. We took our snow mod off. In real life, this is just completely blanketed in white snow, and you can't see anything. You would not be flying to any of these camps. Unless you're flying with skis, but um, yeah, so we may have. Ah, does that look like a lake to you, my friends? There's only one lake up this way. I'm gonna turn that way and let's go. Uh, we've got. We should be 26 miles away, and we are currently. Currently, uh, 19 to 20. So, yeah, we could... Let's go investigate there. Scud Run's coming. That's right. You know what? That's that's a good call. Let's pull back on the power a little bit. Let's uh, maybe get ourselves back down 
the Salmon Lake is uh, the elevation here is 500 feet. So you actually did put the skis on tonight. Nice, Tim. Welcome in point three four. Salmon Lake estimated elevation is 509. We've got runway 15 and one runway tree tree. I'm gonna guess tree tree is gonna be our boy, but I don't know. Kind of been doing northwest ops all night long, so oh yeah, I think we're getting close. Salmon Lake traffic, Beaver 816, is 5 to the south inbound, Salmon Lake. This is our boy, you guys. If we can get underneath this little bank of clouds, then we might have a shot. Now, after this, we've got uh, Feather River and Angstrom Field to hit still. Feather River is 29 miles, Angstrom Field is 23, so um, uh, some fairly longer lakes, not terrible. But I think what I'm going to do, if we are successful in getting on the ground here at uh, Salmon Lake, is I need a, uh, need a quick stretch and uh, refill of my high-quality H2O. Am I sure there's a lake up there? Yeah. That looks like a lake to me. And I kind of remember, like, I almost think this is our runway right here. Like, I kind of remember it shooting off the uh, the lake like that. Straight in. There you go. <laughs> Cleared straight in. Runway uh, tree tree. Those binos, they're the best in the biz. There's no doubt about that. I love being sponsored. Okay, we've got about three miles this to run here. Of the Melvin Leroy Channel, brought to you by... <laughs> Salmon Lake traffic, Beaver 816 is 3 to the south at 1,700. Uh, we're inbound, runway 33, Salmon Lake. There's somebody down that just landed there, so I hate to go straight in and be that guy, but... Um, there's our, there's our precip. So uh, I did what well, did I remember to pack extra anti-icing fluid? Uh, that'd be a no. Left hand pattern, runway 33. And that's a joke. That is a total joke. There is no <laughs> there is no anti-icing, de-icing. There's no boots. There's none of that stuff. No <laughs> So how should I do this? A teardrop? Overfly? I think we'll just do that. Overfly midfield. Left downwind. We'll do that. Salmon Lake traffic. Beaver 816. We're going to overfly the field. Um, uh, east to west. And inner left hand downwind. 3-3. Three, three. Salmon Lake. Oh, you did straight. You did straight ends. Ah, uh, you rascals. Too late for that now. You know me. I am by the book. I'm Mr. Mr. Safety, Mr. Checklist, Mr. Real World Procedure. I don't take any shortcuts here, young young whippersnapper. That's right. I don't. I earned that safety helmet emote. Now, I'm not a pattern altitude, <laughs> and this will be a super shoddy circuit, I'm sure, but, uh, you know, what the hey. Salmon Lake, Beaver 816, overflying the field, 1,100. Let's get it. Inner left hand down, went 3 3. Salmon Lake. <laughs> That's a crash helmet. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Next time we're up here, down with Sim, we need to put some wind socks out. I'm having a hard time. Let's get a couple notches of flaps out here. Salmon Lake uh, Beaver 816 is left downwind 33. Salmon Lake. I'm going to put the pressure on Tim. I'm going to make him feel guilty about you know, 
Oh, uh, he didn't even. <laughs> he didn't even have to have to hurry. That rascal, rascally guy. All right, more flappage. Let's start going down, shall we, my dear? Salmon Lake traffic, Beaver 816, left base 33, Salmon Lake. Thanks from field traffic. Well, before we stop, uh, uh, back taxi in runway 34, Caribbean fire departure to the south. Thanks from field. Okay. We've got it in sight. Let's see how we do here, boys and girls. I do feel like it's been a little more stable without the uh, fuel in the tip tanks. I don't. I can't believe I haven't thought about that before. But I think it's helped a little bit on the landings especially. I'm trying to come in here at about uh, 70 if I can and sort of round it out 60. It, uh, she lands at about, well, she lands under 60. She kind of lands when she's ready to land. Like, you know, you just kind of get it down close to the ground. And Angstrom Field Traffic, one before us, Papa, departing runway 34, left downwind departure to the south. Angstrom Field. Then she just goes down when she's ready. There we go. And sometimes she likes to do a little, little hop first. Easy, 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 easy. I liken it to the uh, scene in Hitch. I don't know if you guys ever watched uh, Hitch or not. Thank you, thank you. But uh, it's like when Hitch is trying to explain to uh, to the one guy that, that's trying to get the girl, you know, like how to properly kiss. He's like, you know, as the guy, you go like 90% in and then, and then you let the girl do the last 10%. I feel like that's how you land this plane. Like you get it like 90% of the way in and then it just decides when it's ready to, to finish out. What was the landing rate on the fourth bounce? That's a great question. That's a really good question, Dallin Sim. I haven't done any of these yet, actually. All right, hold on. Let me lean. Let me uh, decarbonate. Let me parking brake. Let me uh, switch to the Sentre tank. Let's go take a look. Yeah. What kind of a host am I here? I haven't done any of these. All right. So here's the first one at uh, Solomon. And um, what what in the name of, of uh, Todd Hoffman's going on here? Oh, yeah, that's pretty much on the pretty much on the runway. 313, you know, 1.6 on the G's, 47 on the speed. Yeah, that's uh, that's doable. I can live Thanks with that. Field traffic. Well, for us, Papa, clear the pattern, departing the area to the. Uh, and this the is this is Lee's. That was 1.7. That was a little, little uh, spicier. But below two G's, I'll take that. 45 knots. That's a that's my speed, kind of my consistent speed at yeah, Lee's camp. How'd I do up here? Is this Casa Bodega? Oh, this is uh, Quigley. So there's 1.75. Ooh, 108. That was uh, that was a little bit better. Oh, that was just my touch and go though. Yeah, so that doesn't really count. Uh -huh. I got lost for a little Family while. Traffic, experimental one, two, nine, there's oh, Casa Bodega. Runway, three three for left at downwind um, departure. Salmon Lake. That's the camp, but that's not the airstrip. All right, it didn't apparently didn't register those ones, which is probably a good thing. And then up here, let's see. Um, it's only, it's only counting kind of the first touchdown. So, 1.5 G's, 149, 47. So, but look, I battled a six knot wind. That was that was brutal, brutal six knot wind. No, it's uh, yeah, cool. So, all right, our next stop. Uh, we're, we're looks like we're chasing point three four here. Tim is uh, heading out to feather 
Feather River, which is uh, out here. So there it is, right here, Feather River. And we're going to go hit that spot, and then we're going to turn for home. Uh, we do have, uh, yeah, Angstrom Field, and then we'll finish back here at no at Norm. 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 Norm City. Uh, we're enter a left downwind <laughs> for runway zero three, Norm City. Okay, I'm going to back taxi here, and we're going to be on our way. Guys, use guys. My flaps cleaned up. Yep, I do. Uh, Norm City. Traffic correction. One before we stop, we'll be entering a right downwind for runway zero three. Dumb city. Salmon Lake traffic, experimental 129 Alpha Papa, departing here right to the south. Salmon Lake. Alright. Okay, I think he's on and ready to go. Nope, that's my float plane. Salmon Lake traffic, Beaver 816, back taxi in 3 3. Salmon Lake. I hope there wasn't a call made. Rob, thank you. That was a that was a cool shot. It's a cool screenshot. How's our uh, I should ask this. How's our bent frame count tonight, uh, guys? I've got one. I think we're overall zero for me. First time in a while. Yeah, I think overall we're doing pretty good. Yeah, guys. zero for me. Yeah, zero for me, and I'm flying the tail dragger mall. So. Oh boy. I mean. My luck's got to run out sooner or later. <laughs> Zero for me so far, but I still got one landing left, so I'm sure that'll be the one. Oh, I see somebody out there in the pattern. Yeah, um, I'm I, I'm flying bicycle gear, so handicap two airframes, I guess. All right. All right, so we're gonna get out of here quickly here. Yes, Salmon Lake traffic, Beaver 816, departing 3-3 will be left-hand uh, departure VFR to the west, Salmon Lake. We see the traffic overflying. Okay. I uh, wish me luck. Here we go. Full, full lights, Gratel. Nice and gentle. No. Always trying to go left on me here. Don't do that. Up, up, and away. clear hopefully S uh, salmon lake traffic b rate 16 is turning left crosswind uh, climbing through 1200 we're going to be departing the area westbound salmon lake it's pretty cool some of the bush flying pictures that you guys are sharing that's awesome so it's a few of you guys flew with uh, with the snow enabled, which is uh, which is way cool. Oh boy, easy, easy manifold pressure off the charts. Don't do that. All right, so what do I need here? 253 heading, and I'm going to try to do this. So we haven't done one of these yet. Let's let's go 253, and let's put the timer on. So we're going to way uh going to feather this should be 16 minutes all right so i'm going to start the timer i'm just going to dead reckon it for 16 minutes to see how we do uh i gotta find the uh i gotta find the watch the stopwatch there we go uh stopwatch and start 16 minutes give or take a minute estimating about uh oh I, I might have to change my my uh, time estimate though, because we're doing almost 130. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'll we'll say 125. <laughs> so this will mean just a little over 14 minutes now for us. All right, here we go. Now the tricky part here. Final for runway zero three, Nome City. 
the tricky part's going to be trying to stay under the under the weather and over the terrain. So anything less than really four bounces is acceptable on this course. Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys. What a what a fun way to spend a Monday. Man, I tell you. I really missed you Thursday, Saturday, obviously being off. But, you know, sometimes those are nice because you can just kind of refresh and, uh, you know, come back that much more motivated and hopefully produce a little bit of a more quality experience. You know, I haven't done anything different in the sim, per se, but... You know, you just come back with with new energy and all that good stuff. So I appreciate it. All right, cylinder heads are off the chart. We have the, the uh, temps on cold. And I don't want to climb. Mom City traffic. One more form to clear the runway in Mom City. We might be in a little trouble with this one, you guys. This, this baby, she'll run uh, as low as you want to run her, but... I might have to do a little excursion here. <laughs> yeah, Downwind Sim, we've missed you, man. And I I know you're doing what you got to do and all that good stuff. Hopefully here in a month or two, it'll be back to normal. And yeah, we'll be, you won't even remember. Oh boy, I, I'm not going to make it here, am I? I'm going to have to climb. Boy, this is... Uh, I think I may I may have to shoot south because i got to be over 3,000 feet. Yeah, I'm not going to make this, guys. All right, so uh, we're going to head around these mountains. So this is going to screw up our dead reckoning and all that stuff, but... Uh, you know what, I think we can go along this little waterway here. <laughs> it's weather is starting to get a little weathery, that's for sure. And so if we can kind of go down, we can find the Stewart River here, which is, I think, kind of what we're chasing. And the Stewart River leads us sort of around this... A little bit of higher terrain. So only 3,000, you know, 3,000 and change, but I think it's too high for us to, to get over the top of. So uh, let's do that. Let's let's chase this for a little bit here at about 1,500. I know it's not really legal VFR westbound altitude, but uh, what I haven't really done. Ooh, good. screenshot in a while. There's lonesome one there. All these little ponds, just indications of mining activity. There's not a there's not a piece of dirt up here that hasn't had a shovel in it, I swear. They've pulled a lot of gold out of here over the years. That's a good one right there. That'll be a good one. Thumbnail shot. One more. You know what? You're right. There is no left or westbound, eastbound, below three. Yep, you're right. You are correct. And if anybody asks me, I'm just going to say, my friend Tim told me I could do it. Nanner, nanner, boo boo. Stick your head in doo doo. Uh, 
Um, here is the next thing I'm going to do, though, guys. I'm going to tune in. I do have... I just showed you what I'm looking at here. Can't quite go full screen, but... So our, uh, our straight across shot didn't work because this was too high. So we're kind of doing this now. All right. But I see... I see an outbound here. A uh, 260 outbound, right? Is that what that is? Is that what that is? I believe that's what that is. I got way too many uh, waypoints now. Yeah, let's do this. Let's clean this up. Let's make sure we're not going to crash. Okay, we're good. Alright, so I want to go up here to Feather River. Plan that. Plan that. And I want to go off the Gnome VOR. Plan that. Okay, yeah. So, oh, 302. Okay, 302 is uh, where, where I want to go. So, now, can I pick that up this far away? We'll see, I guess. But, um, so outbound 302 would be... Oops. It'd be me trying to die. Oh, no. No midfoil errors and no crash to desktops. Nice. That's awesome, dude. Right, 302. Let's just let's make sure I've got that. 302. Uh, oh, I'm backwards. Dang it. Oh, no. I want to go outbound. 302. There we go. So... All right. Well, hey, thanks for flying. Another fun one. Yeah, I got the dog calmed down and the kids off to bed and snuck down to the basement of the car. Mission accomplished. Worked out well. Yes, indeed. Hopefully it took a little Monday off of your Monday, if you know what I mean. Okay, so we're so we're kind of carving through different places here, and um, thirty-one miles is uh, how far away we need to be. So we are currently only thirteen miles out. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, there's a little uh, airstrip. Look at that. What what's this? Are we flying by Angstrom Field? This is Angstrom Field. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, this is Engstrom. Oh, my lord. Well, there you go. Um, Family traffic, Beaver 304 off the line, clear, runway 33, go left downwind, depart the area to the east. I need to go this way. <laughs> hey, well, we found Engstrom. We'll see ya. We need to go this way. Uh, you know, this is awesome, you guys. I tell you what, I I obviously look forward to flying in these different locations every month, but I I don't know. I think I speak for Downwind Sim when I say that more than anything, I just like hearing familiar voices on the comms and uh, seeing the pictures that you guys share and hearing the stories of how much you've enjoyed it as well. So... Uh, thank you very much for flying along if you did. They almost have a traffic light <laughs> stop sign. <laughs> yeah, well, we we kind of went out of our way there a little bit, didn't we? But, yeah, it's okay. You know what? I think maybe what we'll do is, uh, yeah, still be okay. We kind of had to come down this way just because, again, the, the weather is just not. And maybe we're not going to be able to get up to Feather Lake. I mean, who knows? But, uh yeah, so for sure. So, yeah, if you're just looking for a group of like-minded individuals to hang out with once a month, this ain't a bad way to do it. 
Alright, so we are, I'm heading southwest. I don't want to head southwest. I'm totally going the wrong direction here, aren't I? That, that's the problem, though, is I don't think I can get there. I don't, like, I think I'm going to intercept the radio, but I'm going to be coming up the coast. This is what I'm doing, you guys. Um, so we, we hit Angstrom accidentally, and now I'm sort of, like, flying down this way. <laughs> And I don't really think going around the coast is going to be all that is going to be all that uh, effective. So I think we're going to have to modify a little bit here and head back to Angstrom Field. And I think we're just going to have to leave Feather River. They're going to have to wait to get their uh, to get their mining supplies. I'll head up this draw just to see because maybe we can peek out the other side of it. I'm not saying that. Maybe we can. But, yeah, with us not having really any kind of anti-icing like this, and this is not a good place to get caught either. This is a, uh, this is a place where beavers go to die. All right, well, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna modify, and we're going to head back to, to Angstrom. I just don't feel good about that. feels like a sucker hole. We're going to come around here and... Thanks some traffic. Experimental 129 Alpha Pop out. Yeah. Back taxi. Runway 16. Thank yeah, we're, you. We're fast. Angstrom traffic. Beaver 816 is uh, 5 to the west. Inbound 1,300 Angstrom. It's right along this road, right? somewhere over the rainbow it's a little danger between friends <laughs> well I've had such a good flight I don't want to screw it up I really don't I think watch I won't be able to find it now I thought it was right along this road What does the uh, Mr. VOR say? Angstrom Field. Angstrom traffic. 343. Alpha clear, runway 16, Angstrom. Outbound 343. So there's 341, 2, 3, and only 12 miles from Nome. Yeah, so this is, we're on the right track. It's just on the other side of the hill there. Yeah, 12.5 miles out. Yeah, we're pretty close. Oh, somebody made it out to Feather. Hey, can I get a pie rep uh, out there at Feather River, please? It's pretty and fine and uh, snow covered. Did you have to go along the uh, coastline to get there, or were you able to sneak through the mountains? Yeah, maybe we have different weather because it was pretty clear below probably 3,000 following the river for me. Roger. Oh, man, look at that shot. I'm just looking at, oh, Mike, that mall looks phenomenal, dude. Love the colors. Nick, great shots of your uh, beaver as well. Wow, dang, you guys, holy cow. And I really do like Rob. I like your uh, I like your silver, uh, it's kind of the bare metal paint scheme that yours has. Fixie has his uh, PC six. Oh, you guys! Wow, that's awesome. Tim, there's his there's his Cessna on on skis. That's way cool. That's something we don't do very much of. Is uh, fly on skis. All right, how where am I at? Oh, 13. I'm too far. So the so the uh, Airstrip's going to be back there just slightly. All right, I got to figure out what I'm doing. I think I need to land north because that's what the weather's been doing. So, uh, 3 4, left hand pattern, 3 4. 
right, let's see if I can get this set up without dying. Where are you, airfield? There you are. Okay, cool. Thanks for the field traffic. Beep rate 16. Yes, uh, now just north of the field, we are going to enter a uh, left hand upwind runway 34, Angstrom. Wait. Negative. Uh, correction, we'll be left downwind 34, Angstrom. Going the uh, the other way right now. I'm going going south. I'm north of the field. Going south. I think I said that, but I'm going to turn and come back to the north here. Okay, there we go. There was somebody on the ground. I did hear a report a little bit ago, so we're going to try to be mindful of that. A couple more notches of flaps here. Tight, but not too bad. My gas is good, undercarriage welded, mixture, props full forward, lights are on, carb heat is on. Midfield. Angstrom's only 143, so I need to be losing some altitude here. A couple notches of flaps. Angstrom Field, B rate 16 is left base 33, Angstrom Field. Field Beaver 816 is final 3 3 Angstrom Field Traffic. We've been about 47 all night long. I'm high here on this one, though, is the problem. Coming in a little quicker. I feel like it's a little bit uphill though, so that could help. Somebody needs to get in here and cut the downwind sim grass though. It's getting it's encroaching. this yoke farther back into my lap <laughs> if I tried there we go that'll work let's uh, clear the area we have a nice little parking area oh this did have a windsock all right let's go to the parking area and we'll plan our final leg here you guys never did really get that refresh but that's okay one more one more leg back will be all right been a, been a quick night just a little over two hours, but that ain't bad on a Monday. lean for a second. Carb Pete coming up. Let's uh, pull the brakes out and let's plan our final leg here on what's been a really nice, very enjoyable pie rep cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> what a great story, TFB. Yes, indeed. Did I pack a, a mower? I need to. I need to. So this is pretty... Uh, Pretty straightforward. Head 
south for 12 miles. All right, good night, all. Thanks for a fun evening, and we'll catch you on the next one, I hope. Yes, uh, let's do it again. Thanks for flying. Have a great night. Have a good one. Good night, sir. We could follow the Nome River if we wanted to, and uh, we have, well, we have the choice of, of Nome Field or... Uh, I think we'll just go back to Nome City. We don't we don't fit in with those fancy those fancy Nome international people. We're just gonna go back to our to our home, to our roots. Alright, do I have anybody else here? I could have swore I heard a radio call earlier. Okay, I'm gonna try a short field takeoff. I think we can get airborne in this much runway. Shall we try? That might be a while. <laughs> hey, Bran, I found your bad weather now. Ah, oh, well, good. I'm glad it wasn't just me. <laughs> yeah, now it's scuzzy and snowing. Maybe it just built up a little bit after you kind of went through the area, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's starting to kind of close up all around me. Short takeoff, baby. So here we go. So we're going to go... Instead of our normal two notches, we're gonna go. Turn around and stay out here. We're gonna go four notches here, and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Angstrom traffic Beaver eight sixteen is uh, lining up. Runway three three will be uh, intersection departure, and uh, left traffic to the south. No uh, Angstrom traffic. The danger here, one of many, is that I will torque this stupid thing right to the left-hand rough, trying to overcook it, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. All right. Carb heat. How's everything been doing, by the way? I haven't checked Diddly Squad. Those temps are pretty happy. Cylinder has been kind of, kind of on the cool side. Carb has been all over the joint. All right, here we go. So you increase... Um, throttle you just hold the brakes until you can't hold it anymore and you uh, you pray that she doesn't shoot straight left oh we had tons of room tons of room claim to fame of the of the beaver is that it can take off from anywhere it can land so you need uh, the same amount of runway to land and take off and in many cases you can take off in a shorter distance so that's the that's why people that's why the bush pilots like it so much that wasn't half bad it's kind of fun. We've flown with two notches pretty much all night long, so we'll stick with it. I think we just follow the Nome River. That'll take us back home. And uh, when you hit the ocean, you know you've uh, gone far enough. <laughs> I wouldn't say that down with Sim, but it's been fun. I tell you what, I'm mostly happy. Well, I tell you, there's a lot to be happy about tonight. Number one, great event. As always, an awesome group of people flying along and just having tons of fun. Number two, though, is that X-Plane 12 has uh, played nicely tonight, and it makes me encouraged that maybe I'll be able to, f you know, do some other flying in the sim. And uh, since apparently... Austin and the crew are in no hurry to release 12.1, so we're going to be stuck with this one for a while, I guess. But, uh, yeah. If if this will work, if I, I, I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm content with this. I know they have some cool things planned, but, uh, like, I just want to be able to fly the stuff I have right now. Um, I kind of know I'm not going to be able to fly in event traffic that that performance just isn't there for me and uh, so 
that's another issue but I could do stuff like this which scratches an itch and, and like I say makes me happy I think down the road though um, regardless of uh, sim updates and all this and that I think I think what's needing to happen is it's time for a, a right proper gaming PC instead of instead of what I have right now which is pretty good but it's kind of pieced together and anyway um, and then maybe I can think about uh, splitting the uh, like like maybe one PC for streaming and one for you know running the sim I don't know how to do that but like I've heard that's a, a thing and it helps and so yeah all that stuff 12-1 alphas are in full swing hey very nice oh that's cool that's great to hear great to hear so anyway but uh, yeah there's a lot of great aircraft a lot of good places to fly in x-plane and so I'm very excited about that very excited about that Frankenstein maybe maybe I mean I still think you can do some things it's not a bad computer you know it's a 3080 and an i9 those two things right there are still pretty good, you know. Um, but I just don't think it's maybe optimized because, like, building PCs is not my strength. And so I put things in here and there, and I've got 19 external hard drives and, you know, all that stuff. Peripherals and, you know. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's some serious, uh, like, I've got some high school kids that are into gaming, and they probably have some pretty good rigs. It's, it's, you'd be surprised. But, it's been good. You know, what do you get out of a, out of a gaming PC anymore? Do you get five years? Is that, like, is that, like, about the lifespan of a, of a gaming PC? Because I've got every bit of that, and uh, yeah, I've had a blast. It's been it's been really fun. But uh, I also just like I just feel the limitations of it, and I've got stuff I'm you know, I've kind of backed off of this and backed off of that. And I still think my sim looks pretty good. And I think it's pretty smooth. But you know, at a certain point, you know, you just the the software it's too much for the hardware right that's why you can't keep your phone forever because the software updates render your hardware obsolete your main system's five years old now too yeah so i think that's pretty good you get five six years out of a out of a pc build that's that ain't bad you just bought a laptop uh oh for 1200 bucks as good as your main system <laughs> yeah yeah man so but I like so that's I kind of look forward to learning about that kind of stuff too. Like, like how do I use one machine to to stream and one to sim? You know, um, can I maybe set up a, a like the voice meter banana thing and have a like a serious you know like legit audio control and things like that? Part picker PC, yeah, that's what I used. Uh, PC part picker, that's what I used to build this rig the very first thing it did is it is it shipped me a, a case that was too small and a, a power supply that was not strong enough so <laughs> so there you go but yeah I don't know it's uh, I might I don't know Dome City traffic Beaver 816 is five miles to the north inbound We'll be landing runway one, Gnome City. <laughs> I know, I know. Whoops, where are you, Gnome City? Uh, maybe I'm not where I think I am. where we're at back there uh, 
like I'm too far to the east. <laughs> I better turn around here. That's all right. I avoided all the uh, traffic of the Nome International Area. <laughs> Rob, we're on. We're heading towards the one place I shouldn't get lost. Heading back to Nome. I literally have a BOR right next to it. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just out here a little ways. If nothing else, how about this, guys? Let's land on the beach. We'll just camp out on the beach tonight. Call it good. Oh, I think I see the city. Big city. Big city lights. My position report was not good, though. And no city traffic. B rate 16. We're actually about three miles to the east of the field. We are uh, going to join a right base runway one, Nome City. <laughs> but yeah, part of me thinks you know, I could build one for sure that costs a little bit less, you know, because you could get more bang for your buck. Or I could pay to have someone build it for me that that's what they do for a living. And then I don't have to worry about all the problems that I've had right now. Like I've got, I've got one internal hard drive that has no mount. I have no place, no room to mount it. So it literally is just sitting in there, leaning up against part of the case. What kind can I get for 1200? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't even looked. My son does that sort of thing, but um, again, he's about as good at it as I am. So. He's good at ordering a bunch of stuff and then, you know, like it does, I don't, I don't know. He's he's built a few. They both have, but uh, I don't know. Oh, down, you're asking Downwind Sim what he got, that laptop? Yeah. We'll see. I'm a long way from doing any of that, but uh, I know that's on the distant horizon there somewhere. The wind was only three knots. The, the townsfolk would probably appreciate it if I didn't carve this uh, big radial right over the top of them here when they're having dinner. But too late now. <laughs> Nome City traffic, Beaver 816 is right downwind runway one, Nome City. Part of me kind of wants to land on that little strip, this little guy right here, this this OG field, but I I don't know if I can make it. Staying out here extra wide again, so the townsfolk have it uh, have it a little quieter. You, when you were here last, you ran out of gas about here. <laughs> Speaking of that, how am I doing? Oh, I'm still good. I'm really good. Okay, mixture prop. Fuel is on the uh, fullest tank. We'll do that, actually. Gear is welded. Switches are all on. Carb heat is carving. Look at this beautiful square routed final pattern here. Gnome City traffic. Beaver 816 is a final runway one. Gnome City. You had to dead stick it in the 185. Oh man, that 185, you you had made that sucker into a lean, mean bush flying machine. 185 up here would be fantastic. 
In we go, you guys. Final approach. Bush League 55 is just about in the books. Another very successful day. Thank you so much for you guys flying along. If you weren't able to fly along, no worries. There's always next month, first Monday of every month. The details are over there at downwindsim.com. Speaking of Downwind Sim, a big thank you again to you, my friend Ralph, for uh, helping out as always. Even though you're on the road, you managed to uh, sacrifice a couple of hours to make some scenery, so that's greatly appreciated. And we're down. Fly the tail a little bit, and there you go. We have a lot of fun. We keep asking ourselves how many more times we're going to do it, but... Oh, you know, the answer is always one more time. <laughs> that wasn't half bad, honestly. But this is where the wind is. The I think the wind's only like three knots here. So, you know, it was uh, a little bit easier. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. All right, that comes up. We're going to take that up, clean the flaps up. Spoilers uh, unarmed. APU, let's get the APU going. make it quarterly if it gets too much you know the thing of it is Rob I don't like like there's times of the year when when we're just crazy busy and that's when you feel like oh man am I gonna be able to find time to do this and uh, but we always have managed to do it so and they're always there's always other places to fly too, so that's the other thing I think that that keeps us going is that we we we're just curious and we are always like just wanting to know what's around the next corner. Like that's that's if you if you wanted to define me in a nutshell, that would be it. I'm always wanting to know what's over the next ridge line, what's over what's around the bend. Let me fish just one more hole. Let me see what it looks like around the other side of that bush. And. Uh, so I, I think as long as that continues, we're good to go. And uh, but you know things can change. There's no doubt about that. And uh, jobs change, and and uh, people get busy. And anyway, I don't know. Venture outside the U.S. We've talked about that as well. Yeah, I mean, um, there's you're right. There's a lot of cool, really really cool places to fly. And the better the sim gets, you know, the better both sims get, the uh, more fun, the more enjoyable it is. Because you really do, like, like, as each sim improves, like, you feel more and more like you're there. And uh, so that's, you know, that's what we really, that's what we all like. But uh, there we go. She did good. Just a default. I didn't mess around with the uh, dynamic livery. I didn't do anything but put bush tires on it and uh, and the mud flaps and everything else. I just left alone. I did change the uh, the tail number, although it didn't change that out there. But that's okay. MSFS update tomorrow? Um, I don't think so. I I don't know though. It's it was supposed to be middle of April. Then it was end of April. Then they needed another week, and so. That's uh, that's a great question. I really haven't heard what the scuttlebutt is on that. It's it's imminent. And then Rob Valkyrie is uh, hitting the nail on the head. The, the the thing that I'm really most looking forward to in in a long time, the the plane I'm looking forward to is the Duke. And there's a uh, this will have a turbine version and a naturally aspirated version. So you can kind of, you can hit both ends of it, I guess, whichever way you want to go. Or if you want to go both, I mean, I've seen, um, uh, it's A320 pilot, I think, that, uh, that has been um, streaming it the most. And 
they both look phenomenal. He's been focused a little bit more on the on the uh, uh, the piston version than the turbine version. I'm kind of more interested in the turbine version just because that's what I had back in P3D, and it kind of reminds me of that. But um, And I have the, the Chancellor, which is a, a beautiful twin turbine. that So it feels a little bit like overkill. But uh, anyway, we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out. But that that's definitely a, a release I'm looking forward to very much. And uh, and then, yeah, we'll see. Like, what, what does Microsoft 2024 look like? What's it do to... Uh, to the simming world and all that stuff um yeah we shall see all right guys well um yeah oh you just saw the system 15 release is tentative so it implies by default that it might not be released that day <laughs> yeah I, I and and i look i appreciate they're they're trying to get it right they don't like for the first time in a long time both sims both platforms like they are actually being patient and trying to get it right before they release it so that's good they both are uh you know they both are um they both have beta releases that they're getting good data from and uh anyway it's it's i i appreciate what they're trying to do so um let's do this oh you know gosh we need to uh we need to actually just do a, do a proper outro here so let me let me cue that up oh we got somebody coming in for landing too watch that first easy 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 I apologize for my CSL showing him with floats on. That's disappointing. And, ooh, yeah. Quite nice. Quite nice, my friend. Steady. Steady. Come on. There you go. Well done. Well done, indeed. Aha, that'll work. Iowa Scotsman confirms it is expected tomorrow, but we will see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, high speed taxi on the way back. All right. Let's uh let's cue it up. Thanks for watching my papa. So again, thank you very much. Fun flight. Appreciate it again, everybody coming in today. I want to thank Panagon especially for 34 months, uh, and then Tim Dog. Thank you very much for 11 months as well. And uh, Will Wait Dumbly, thank you for the follow. Anybody else who came in today to chat, to hang out, um, yeah, I, I, uh, you guys know, you know what I think about that. Appreciate that, and uh, um, yeah, thanks for giving up a little bit, a little bit of your. Uh, of your Monday night to hang out with me. Uh, I will be back on uh, uh, tentatively back tomorrow. Uh, I was going to not do anything tomorrow, but then I kind of like, you know what? I'm going to make up for the, I'm going to make up for the, uh, for the streams that I miss. So I'm going to, I may put something together tomorrow and uh, see how that goes. Um, but uh, I'll let you know on the discord. And then Thursday I am planning to fly as well. Uh, just kind of basically back to my normal Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule. So um, anyway, hopefully you guys can stop by and uh, yeah, see what's going on. I'm going to go send you over to our friend Pure Luck. Um, Tim Dog has, was talking a little bit about the Beyond ATC today, and that's what he's messing around with. So I'm kind of curious to uh, see how it's going for him. But uh, yeah, let's head over there and uh, give him some love. I'll meet you over there. Uh, have a good remainder of your week if I don't see you again soon. I uh, can't wait to fly with you again tomorrow, though. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll reach out to you and let you know what I've got planned for sure. So, uh, anyway, have a good night, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. God bless.